Hi, and welcome to another Excel demo with Rich Kerr. In this scenario, we're going to look at a couple of methods for computing the elapsed time or duration between two time values. Uh, so if you want to pause the video and set up some sample data, go right ahead. So I've created two labels, start time and end time. And in A2, I have a start time of 9 a.m. Uh, and 3.30 p.m. in the end time. Now I've also set the formatting by using the format cells option. So uh, if you select both cells in question uh, and do control one, that's the keyboard shortcut for format cells, I'd gone in here and selected this format for the time. Uh, so it just has the hour and the minutes and the AM or PM. So now I'd like to see the duration. So I'll type duration here and uh, I want to calculate uh, the duration between those two times, so I'll do uh, equals B2 minus A2 and hit enter. And so because the source data is formatted as time, your result is displayed as time. Uh, but rather than it saying 6.30 a.m., which doesn't make much sense, it should say 6 hours, 30 minutes, or 6.5 hours. So there, there's a few ways to do that. Uh, one would be to uh, simply change the format to say 6 hours and 30 minutes. So if I do control 1, um, with that with that format selected, I'll choose custom and I'll modify the existing numeric format uh, by putting the word hours after that H in the code. Of course it helps if I spell it correctly. <laughs> And uh, I'll modify the code to put the word minutes uh, after the minutes indicated by the two M's. And then I don't need the AM, PM. Uh, so I'll click OK. And so now the result says 6 hours, 30 minutes. So if I change this to a different value, let's say it's uh, 2.15 PM, 5 hours and 15 minutes. Or if it's 11 PM, 14 hours exactly. So that's one way you could do that. Um, you could put you know, any time value in there and uh, it's going to compute it correctly. Okay, one hour and 11 minutes. Uh, now, if I wanted to have it say you know, one point and then some fraction, uh, that's actually even easier than putting the X number of minutes. Uh, you would simply do equals the end time. In fact, let's put that in parentheses. So we'll say B2 minus A2. But what happens when this is computed, it generates a, a fraction. So if I change the formatting here to the comma style, what you're seeing is that that's really five one hundredths of a day. And because the day is in 24-hour segments, we're going to multiply that result by 24. So that's 1.18 hours. Uh, to make the math a little easier, let's use a rounder in time. So we'll say uh, 11 a.m. So that's two hours, zero minutes in this format. Or when we do the math of multiplying uh, that number by 24, we just get 2.00. If I do, say, 11.45, two hours, 45 minutes, or 2.75 hours. That's it. I uh, hope you find this useful. Please tune in again soon for more Excel videos with Rich Kerr. And please feel free to subscribe and get notified when new videos arrive. Have a great day.